HH. The advice that I would give to women, um, you know, pursuing a career in entertainment is to obviously analyze what is it about the business of entertainment um, that you like and that you want to devote the next however many years of your life towards it. Um, you know, girls come up to me all the time and they say that they're models. And I say, well, what kind of model are you? I mean, I even hesitate to give myself the title of model because if we're going to go with the, you know, uh, technical definition of a model, I am the furthest thing from it. I am not five foot ten and ninety eight pounds soaking wet walking down a catwalk. That's not going to happen. Never was going to happen. Never had dreams of it. And furthermore, I mean, you know, video modeling. It wasn't. It wasn't really. Um, it wasn't the stepping stone that everybody started to call it. Um, I just, you know, I'm always thinking ahead, you know, five steps ahead. Life is a, is, is a chess game. It's not about checkers. So I was always thinking five steps ahead, which is, you know, how I came up with the my own idea to leverage my popularity in one area in order to um, gain success in, in the, next, the next one. You know, onward and upward was always um, my mantra. But um, I guess... Women really, really have to be very focused in this business. It's a male-dominated industry. It's filled with sexism. It's filled with chauvinism. It's very, very difficult. And, you know, when it comes to being on a set like a video, um, a television show, a movie for that matter, um, they can be very sexually charged environments. And if you're not, you know, of sound mind with, you know, specific goals, in mind, then you're gonna get lost because, I mean, this business is smoke and mirrors. You know, it's, it's unbelievable the things that, you know, just the average person really believes that when they watch it on TV or see it in magazines. I'm like, airbrushing, Photoshop, um, scripts, editing, it's strung together to make a pretty picture and to create a story and somebody wrote it, you know? And it's, the business is, is not what people think, you know? So I always tell women who get into this business, have a clear set of goals and be extremely focused and be prepared to sacrifice a lot when it comes to this business. And let me know how you feel after, after like six months to a year in it. Um, the definition of sexy is confidence. It's 100% confidence. Everything else just kind of, you know, confidence I consider, you know, the foundation, you know, the, the tree trunk. And everything else is a branch or a twig or a leaf um, as a result of it. But without confidence, there's no way that you can, you know, even attempt to make people believe that, you know, whatever it is that you're selling. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of you. Um, it. I've always had a confidence in myself that didn't necessarily, wasn't necessarily born from my looks, um, you know, which is probably something most people don't know. The thing that lent me the greatest sense of confidence is my intellect. Um, I knew that, you know, yes, my looks could open doors for me, but my intellect is what allowed me to sit down, pull up a chair, and have a conversation and, and keep myself in the room and keep, and you know, um, another fantastic, like another thing that I consider to be extremely sexy is character. You know, winning the um, the praise of your of your biggest critics. Um, these are things that just inner qualities that you hone and that you work on is where true sexiness and beauty actually lie. It, has, it really has nothing to do with the exterior, um, how you walk, how you talk. Yeah, that's 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 secondary because you can develop that by watching movies or by going to etiquette school, you know, but it doesn't necessarily have any depth or breadth to it, you know.